What's up YouTube, it's your boy Corey coming back to another video. Today we're gonna be bagging this IPL. Sheesh, there we go. There it is. There it is. So I actually uh, bought this from a homie. Um, they had the setup. Uh, so full three-piece system. It does not have the height adjusters though, um, but it has everything. It has the double compressors. Boom, there's the thumbnail. All right, so we just bought the car back from the dealership. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything what we got here. We have the three-piece system from Airlift, okay? We have two compressors, uh, 444 cc. Uh, we have the manifold uh, management system as well, and then we have the air tank as well, okay? This is very important. If you get two compressors, you need two different relays, okay? Two different relays for both compressors. You can't run off one relay. And let me show you what the relay is, okay? This is a relay right here, okay? So this is what they give you, okay? So. Uh, it already has a relay right here, okay? It's a relay switch. That's what it has on there already, okay? It has the power and then the ground of what you're gonna run to the compressor. And then this is the uh, harness that plugs into the manifold, the, you know, that manifold right there, okay? Okay, so if you're running two compressors like what i'm doing right now i have two different compressors that's what this little guy is for right here okay so this is where you're gonna plug into the second relay you basically use this but the 30 is gonna be the supply coming from the battery so it's gonna be this line right here that's gonna be coming from all the way from the battery the top 87 is gonna be the power that's gonna go to your compressor okay so it's gonna go to that compressor 85 or 86 you can choose which one i'm gonna use choose the 85 that's gonna go to your ground okay and then the 86 this part is gonna hook up into the part that um airlift actually supplies you okay so that's where that's gonna hook up into okay i'm gonna remove all of this stuff the trimming right here move right here take this off so gonna lower the seat right here lower it so i can go ahead and run the line from the compressors in the back underneath this um, this panel right here it's gonna go down in and then i'm gonna go through the firewall that's in there off and basically how you get the back seat off you just basically pull really extremely hard on it and it's gonna pull right off but as you can see i got the lines come right here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and start removing the trim right here and taking off the pieces you can kind of pull on it so you don't gotta take it all the way out which is pretty cool you just gotta tuck it in between here so i'm gonna tuck it uh, i am gonna take this off which you just how you take this off you just pull All right, so the firewall is somewhere up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a time lapse of me removing everything. This is where you will find it underneath the dash or the glove compartment and then find it uh, right there. All right, so now that we got the wires to the firewall, um, I'm going to wire it up straight to the battery. 
Um, this one is for the first compressor, as you can see. And then uh, this wire right here is for the second compressor, okay? And before you wire anything up to the battery, make sure you include inline fuses just to be safe. All right, so I temporarily uh, connected the wires together like this. I'm gonna go ahead and solder it later. For the second compressor, because this one doesn't have a ground. And remember, we jump started it onto the switch. So that's connected. So once I connect these to the battery, I'm gonna connect this wire right here to an accessory a fuse in the car. On back here, remember this is for the first compressor right here. Okay, and then this is gonna connect the second compressor this is going to go to the management system all right so we're going to test it so basically i got the ground uh, hooked up to my ground on my battery okay i got both inline fuses for both compressors hooked up to the battery right here signal wire this is what notifies or lets the compressor know to turn on that i'll show you guys earlier that I had actually ran, I was running uh, this wire right here all the way to the battery. I'm actually gonna run it over here to the fuse box because we're gonna hook it up to one of the fuses that are only gonna be turned on on accessory mode, so. All right guys, let me go ahead and show you guys how I did the wiring. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is a, these are both fuse taps, okay? This fuse tap right here is actually from my exhaust cutout valve. This has nothing to do with the bags at all. Uh, but this was actually hooked up to a constant 12V power, okay? And the reason I know it's a constant 12V power is because if I take it out, let me see, I'm gonna take them out real quick, and I get one of these little testers, okay? I already got it hooked up to the ground. Um, you go and click it into the little uh, section, boom. As you can see, the light turns on. So I take it off, boom, put it back on. Okay, the car, and the car's not even on. So you, that's how you know it's a constant 12V. So this one is not a constant 12V because if, go and take this one out as you can tell when I put it in there it does not flash but if I turn the car on like this boom the light turns on all right so that's how you know that's a accessory um, fuse right there so let me go ahead and put this fuse back all right and then let me go ahead and put this one back as well for my exhaust cutout valve Alright, so we got everything hooked up. Moment of truth. Let's see if this shit works. Alright. Turn on one more and this should turn on. Let's see. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The compressor should turn on. Yep. Yes, sir. Alright, cool. We're good for right now. That's all I wanted to see. All right, so we just finished uh, doing the wiring for the management system. I'm about to actually go run to the store right now and get some airlines because I actually don't have enough to run it all the way through the car. And then I'm gonna order some airlines um, from airlift.com to get their brand, I don't know, just quality, you know. But for right now, I'm just gonna go get the line so I can finish the project uh, and get it going. What we're looking for, uh, this will do for right now. And like I said, I'm gonna order the lines directly from air lift himself. I just needed to finish the job right now. We have the line right here. Pretty sturdy. This is not gonna bend. I don't think it is. So, but I ran it all the way down and through the firewall that was already done. Okay, and I did it right here underneath the seat and right here. I thought I was scared because I thought the seat was gonna be crushing it, but I actually lifted up the seat to see if it was. And there's actually, if you see this right here, this whole gap. It doesn't even touch it, so we're good. Like it's not even gonna touch the line at all. So we're good there. All right, to make it look a lot cleaner, I actually wired all the air lines, not even gonna be touched at all in the factory little harness i would say little clamps so what i did i actually just cut it okay and then i was able to you know fit it in there so but that's still not gonna go it's still really sturdy so no matter what so it's out the way and now it's nice and clean wired up um i'm just gonna pull some slack because you don't want these to be crinkled at all and yeah so those are the airlines right there we can start putting everything back together all right so quick update everything is wired in uh correctly um, so we have the lines, so I ran the lines over here. There's uh, right here. Okay, so the lines are here. So this is gonna connect to the bag. Uh, I need to go get some fittings. But um, yeah, so everything works correctly. I went to make sure everything's good. Remote's good. 
the tank compressor is filling up uh, completely as you can see let's see right there so it's filling up uh, the compressors are working um, I tested the air to make sure it, it gets shot out right there let's see there you go look at that see it boom and the line to the driver's side down to there here right now and then we're gonna basically drill down below to the flow or to the bag itself all right so I couldn't wait I forgot to show you guys um, so we got the first bag in there um, it's the same exact process as coilovers. So if you haven't seen how to do coilovers, I'll leave a link in the description for that one. I went ahead and drilled the hole right here. Here it is, right there, okay? And fed the line um, to this, down to right here, and fed it right to the bag. And I made sure that it's out of the way, not gonna be touching anything nice and crisp. All right, first drive out. That's just with the front, the front bags. Oh, <laughs> hey. All right, time to do the pressure test. you want to see you want to make sure that they stay constantly around here it's okay if it drops down a little bit gonna do it for the video you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel you have to got more content coming soon on the IPL so go ahead and hit that like button I'll catch you in the next video